Well, I most of the time say that before reading any book, you must read about the author. That who is the author? Who wrote this book? Today, I want to talk about a book which is written by an author. He is a consultant, marketing consultant. He advises Microsoft, Apple, the biggest companies in the Silicon Valley. He is, he, his customers or his clients are the Fortune 500 companies. So the book name is, I'm sure by now you understood, the book name is The Infinite Game. The Infinite Game is written by Simon Sink. He is also the writer of the book Start With Why. I have summarized the book Start With Why which is available on my YouTube channel. If you want to watch that uh, and listen that book, you can also listen that book after watching this video. So what is all about this infinite game? As per the author that there are two kind of players in this world. The first type of player is that they are the finite players and the other type of players are the infinite players. The finite players are those that they have a limited objective in their life. The infinite players are those they have an unlimited objective in, your, in their life. And I will make it very simple. If your objective in life is to improve yourself, continuously improve yourself, then you are an infinite player. You are playing game of infinite because you can be better every day. You can improve yourself. And if you are playing a finite game, finite game mean a person who is trying to compete with someone. Let's say talk about the uh, talk about the companies. As all of my listeners are business students, let me make it very simple. Apple was introduced in 1970s, late 1970s, and at that day, IBM was the core company. So, Apple was what? What? What was the focus of the Apple? Focus of the Apple was to remain uh, on to to focus on their values and get better with every time. So, what they did, they started. Uh, um, improving themselves so first when they came into the market at that time IBM thought that they are their competitors so IBM was trying to improve itself as Apple but later on IBM disappeared and then when Apple came into the smartphone business then the Blackberry was the key com uh, competitor of the Apple and the Blackberry started fighting with the Apple and making the things like Apple but today we know that that IBM is nowhere close to the Apple Blackberry is nowhere close to the Apple even the other companies which come close like Samsung and other companies close to the Apple they're not there so what is the reason what is the reason is that that these companies are playing a finite game the IBM was playing a finite game the Blackberry was playing a finite game they were competing with the Apple what Apple is competing with itself it is getting better with every day so this this game of the finite is helping them to stay longer so this is the key concept of of the book that that you must play an infinite game you must not play the finite game i will again uh, share this thing that finite game is that that you are competing with some person you are competing with some company infinite game is that you are competing with yourself you are making yourself better you have a longer vision so i today i would like to share with you five lessons from the book which i learned the first thing is that those people who play the infinite game, they have a cause. Cause is not just like a mission. Cause is not just like a just like a vision. Cause is something bigger. Let's say the Bill Gates Foundation, which is working on ending the polio in the world, which is working on the uh, on the uh, on, on on the ending the diseases, the contagious diseases in the world. Let's say uh, talk about uh, the, uh, the the Islam or the Muslims. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him advises. So Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him advises or or or, or something more than a vision, more than a, a what they call it, a, more than a, a, just just a mission. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him advises, and the religion of Islam is basically a cause. A cause to make the humanity better, a cause to make things better. So what is happening that that even after 1400 years, even after till the day this world will will, will lost, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him cause will be there. The cause is to to aware the humans about the, the blessings of God, to threaten the humans about the upcoming life. So the cause is something bigger. So the infinite game players all the time focus on a cause. And then the infinite game players have a trusting teams. Trusting teams, uh, I would say that that let's talk about the Bill Gates, let's talk about the, uh, the the all the successful people, let's talk about the Steve Jobs. These people all the time has trusted trusted teams. Those people who are playing infinite game. And uh, if you want to see some bigger example, then let's talk about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, because he was the he he is and he was the best leader uh, in the in 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 the, in the history. So. 
one can imagine his companions that the trustworthy team of his companion that it is because of his companions that it is because of the strongest effort of the companion because of the teachings of prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him which he taught to his team that today we have the islam religion and it is growing uh, with, with the passage of time with the passage of time their teachings their wisdom is coming uh, in a better way and th having a strong team is something which the infinite players have and the third thing is that that the, the infinite players all the time have worthy rivals uh, they do not fight with those people who are not worthy let's talk about the the uh, the, the the apple or, or, or which we shared which i shared in my uh, previous examples that apple was all the time competing with the best rivals at that time ibm was the best player so the, the day they invented the first um, first computer imagine a person sitting in a room uh, making the first computer steve jobs and he was fighting with the ibm ibm was the billion dollar company at that day but ibm was a worthy uh, rival for them so those people who play an infinite game all the time uh, play the, the worthy rivals and worthy rivals uh, i mean uh, i mean that that once they fight with them then they change their course of action once they they, they fight with them uh, once they with the win then they change the competitor so ibm once went from the uh, uh, apple once went from the ibm then they started competing with the, uh, with the with the with the smart with then they came into the smartphone industry and they started competing with the blackberry so this is something they changed their rivals with the passage of time and fourth thing is that uh, that essential flexibility the infinite people have and uh, those people who know prophet muhammad peace be upon him or those who are muslims or those non-muslims who studied the prophet muhammad peace be upon him there was one uh, um, one agreement between muslims and non-muslims uh, the people of medina with the people of mecca and that was the sulay hudaybiya and that was kind of flexibility uh, in the prophet muhammad peace be upon him uh, existential of the Muslims that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him agrees all the points of the of the non-Muslims, but that thing proved to be the best thing in Islam that helped Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him to invite other people in Islam. And after two years, after three years, the the whole area, the whole area of Mecca and Medina be, uh, became because of the Muslims. And most of the writers, most of the scholars say that agreement of the Hudaybiyah was the founding thing in that thing so that was the flexibility in existence prophet i agreed for 10 years that they will not fight with the people of makkah they will not uh, kind of spread their message in the makkah so that that was something which was uh, which was uh, which was which was flexibility and that proved that within 10 years before 10 years within two years islam spread everywhere and uh, when it comes to the flexibility, most of the time, the example of Kodak is given into the companies. So Kodak was a very popular company. I'm sure those people in my age who are uh, in late 20s or maybe early 30s, they must be aware of the Kodak. There used to be one camera and that camera used to have uh, the limited prints available and uh, there used to be 30 pictures and 40 pictures. So Kodak was one very popular camera. But when the digital cameras came, the Kodak first developed uh, the digital cameras, but they did did not uh, push that digital camera in the market they stopped selling that because they thought that that if we bring that digital camera we will lose lot of customers we will lose lot of money but uh, the time proved that that when fuji or when icon or all the other camera companies came then automatically the codec disappeared so this is something which tells that that certain times you need to do the agreements you need to do the you need to have the flexibility in your existence which will help you it uh, in uh, in reshaping yourself in making yourself better and the fifth thing is that uh, that the courage to lead the, all the people who have the uh, who are leading the companies who are the top leading companies does not matter those are leader they have the courage to lead let's say about the nelson mandela nelson mandela stayed uh, in the jail for 30 years to 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 lead the people so he had the courage to, to do all the sacrifice uh, so when it talk when we talk about from mohan peace be upon him they all the time had the courage to lead even though there were there were severe circumstances of leading the people and when it comes to the industries we can see all the people who are leading they are in extremely extremely tough situation let's talk about the tesla tesla elon musk is continuously investing so much in the in his spacex project in his uh, all the projects 
that and uh, that he he want to be like the leaders when it comes to space and let's talk about the apple apple is continuously investing continuously improving its, its products just to be the, the 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 courage to lead the courage to lead uh, requires from you to sacrifice your products and make your products better and let's talk about uh, uh, the microsoft let's talk about the the bigger companies it does not matter what is the bigger company you will find them all the time they have the courage to lead they have the, uh, the ability to improve themselves let's talk about the facebook facebook is all the time buying the new competitors just to remain the leader in this business so these are the five uh, kind of points five lessons which everyone can learn from those people who are playing an infinite game if you're doing a business if you are a person then you must follow these advisors if you follow this if you find this video you useful please share it with others uh, i hope you will play an infinite game and you will have a successful company you will be a successful person as yourself if you find this video useful please share it with others thank you so much